A horrifying scene outside the Trump hush money trial today. A man set himself on fire. He is about 50 feet away from me. He is now collapsed on the ground. There is a man racing to his aid. There is coats coming off to try to put out the fire. Stunned reporters who were live on air covering the Trump trial reacted in disbelief. I can't see in any way how any human being can survive this. I was there as police officers rushed to the man's aid, desperately trying to douse the flames. Please back, you step back. Step back, thank you, appreciate it. Here we are. We're being pushed back because this is quite a scene here right outside the courthouse where the former president, President Trump, is inside. Outside. And you can see there's police outside here still. They quickly pushed us all back. You know, there's some kind of substance that they're, they sprayed or they, they put on the fire to get things under control. Witnesses were left aghast. He put gasoline on himself. He set himself on fire. Oh, he set himself on fire? This is the moment just before it happened. There's a guy lighting himself on fire. We're not going to show you what happened next. It's just Hello. too shocking. And all of a sudden we see this guy in the corner basically just start taking uh, a, a, some gas and just pouring it on himself. And it was very clear what he was doing. So I started screaming for the cops. The man is identified as 37 year old Max Azzarello. We found this video on his Instagram account as he calls for revolution. Start a revolution. You've got nothing to lose. He posted a letter online shortly before he set himself ablaze. The headline I have set myself on fire outside the Trump trial. Cops described him as obsessed with conspiracy theories. The disturbing act of self-immolation came moments after the jury selection process was completed. The jury consists of seven men and five women. There are two teachers, a marketing manager, a physical therapist, and a tech expert. The men include a salesman, two bankers, a security guard, a businessman, and surprisingly, two lawyers. This is a highly educated, barely sophisticated jury. It's obvious that both sides wanted this. You have two lawyers on the jury. You have an investment banker. You have other people in finance. You have people with advanced degrees. You know, there are some complicated legal issues here. There are complicated financial issues. So both sides obviously they think that this is in their best interest. I am liking this jury for the defense. I do not think there will be a full acquittal, but I think we may be looking at a hung jury here. History as it happens, but nobody expected this. Wow, bro, I am in like disbelief, fam. Bro, when I heard about this story, I was just talking to my wife about it. We was just like reading like a little article about it. And it's like, bro, people are really obsessed with things that like nine times out of 10 are like false. Like half of the stuff that we believe or we think is so true and we we will go and die behind it it'd be so false bro it'd be so false you know what i'm saying like this guy obviously we know that he has some type of mental issue we know that he was mental sick he, like he has some type of mental sickness like we know this because even in the article i read about him uh I, I can't find an article, bro, but I literally just read. I forgot what site, what it was on. I forgot who knew, what news, uh, I forgot what news article it was. But basically, in 2023, the man was arrested on several charges. On several charges, he was arrested. He was in a psychopath uh, hospital. He was just a lot, like, a lot he was doing. You know what I'm saying? Taking off his clothes, stripping in a hotel, doing things, yelling outside uh, to, to guests that was coming in a hotel about, about nonsense, about conspiracy theories, whatever. But the fact that this man set himself on fire, bro, it shows that he has some type of mental illness, bro. It shows that, bro. The, like, what human being honestly was would want to even put themselves through that type of stuff you feel me you burned yourself alive alive that that is like so I, i'm like super in disbelief this is going down in history like this is like crazy bro it is truly crazy and people honestly sat there and, and, and watch i mean like what what could you have done a man throwing gasoline on himself by the time you got over there, he probably was going. He probably already had the lighter already to to blaze himself up. So by the time you got over there, you was going to get yourself on fire. But it's just like, dang, bro, 
it's like, dang, bro, people are honestly just like so obsessed with politics, so obsessed with uh, conspiracy theories and so obsessed with so much stuff that they would die behind and stuff. Literally take their own life behind what they truly believe. I, I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm still like shook, bro. I'm shook, fam. Let's look at the fire one more time, bro. Like buying scene outside the Trump hush money trial today, a man set himself on fire. Bro, it's an actual video on Twitter, bro. Let me go to it. The the actual like right here. I don't know why it's flashing like that, bro. It's not supposed to, but yeah, I'm just gonna play it. Bro, like how bro like why why literally why 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 is it it's never that it, i don't know bro i know everybody has their own little thing but to me it's just never that deep it's never that deep bro i i, I could never see myself doing any i don't know i don't care how much i'm die hard about something i can never see myself taking my own life for some for something that is like bro like people gonna forget about this in the next 24 48 hours bro like what was like what was the reasoning fam like you had family i'm pretty sure you had family because in the article it said that your family was looking for you and they didn't they couldn't get in contact with you and then now they just come across this news bro see i look at stuff like this and people be like oh he's stupid he was this he was that i look at stuff like this and be like bro this is somebody's child this is like even when i like look at homeless people now i'll be like bro these were somebody kids who had big dreams in life this was someone's child who had a dream who had a goal who had a goal set in mind and please don't be sarcastic and say the goal set in mind was to set himself on fire because i look at the end of the day bro what he did it was it, it was very it was very ridiculous it was very ridiculous but i don't even want to joke about it because it's bro it's sad it it's disturbing it's the fact that people honestly go through these mental issues and they don't get the help that they need. And true, and true be told, bro, if you're going through something mentally, you need to go get help. You need to go get help. Taking your own life is not the answer. It's not the answer. You can get better. You can get over that depression that you're feeling, that anxiety that you're feeling, that, that stress that you, you can get over that stuff. You just need to go talk to the right person. You need to talk to the right person. You know what I'm saying? Like, man. This is crazy, bro. This is some crazy, crazy news, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Uh, j I, just pray for that, man, bro. Pray for his family. You know what I'm saying? Pray for his family. Max Azelero, uh, Azelarolo, he was 37 years old, man. Uh, Yeah, pray for his family, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know they're probably going through a hard time right now due to the fact that they just, they, they literally probably, like, the video is live on Twitter, bro. Like, you can see the man actually setting himself on fire bro it's, it's crazy bro um y'all let me know in the comment section below how y'all feel about this do you feel like it was that deep like i mean just let me know bro let's have a conversation in the comment section below hit the like button subscribe to the notifications it's been your boy the pan i love each and every one of y'all bro god bless stay blessed peace